Hey guys, um, I have been doing a lot of tag videos, and so I asked you guys what you guys wanted on um, Facebook, and I made a status, and a lot of you guys have said a day in life, or best friend tag, and stuff like that. Well, the best friend tag is already up, so if you guys are watching this and you haven't seen that, then go ahead and go watch that. I've done the would you rather, the best friend tag, the baby tag, the baby name tag, I've done a lot of tags. And actually here, I have three more tags, which is the mommy tag, the 20 questions tag, and the this and that tag. So I'm going to try to film them all tonight, and if I don't, then I will get them. Um, I have no makeup on, so excuse my look, and I just look like poop. And Drill is here with me. And so, <coughs> excuse me, if you guys hear music or anything like that, then just kind of ignore it. But in this video, I'm doing the mommy tag. So am I a, number one is, am I a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? And my mom does not want me to get a job because, um, <laughs> Pick it up, baby, um, because she thinks it'll be too much stress with strudels and school and all that stuff. So I am a stay-at-home mom, which I wish I could get a job, but I do understand where she's coming from about too much stress. So I am a stay-at-home mommy. And a lot of you guys ask how I pay for Drew's stuff. I do babysit, and I sell some of our old stuff, get money that way. You know, I just do pretty much anything I have to to get money for him. Number two is, would you have it another way? Um, honestly, no, because, I mean, yes, working would be easier with the financial stuff, but the, then again, you know, it would take time out of us spending time together, and it would just limit what we have together, and I would be more stressed out and stuff, so no, I would not have it any other way. Do you co-sleep? Well, when Drew was about two or three months old, I let him start sleeping with me because I had gotten very lonely, and... You know, my grandma had passed away and just stuff like that. So he had just started really sleeping with me. Um, and that lasted until about a month or two ago. And he started sleeping in his own bed, which is where he sleeps now. So, yeah. And then number four is one must-have gear for your baby. Um, a must-have for him would probably be diapers. Or not diapers. Um his binky would be a must-have, and of course, a million wipes, because you can never have too many wipes. And another must-have is diaper bags, not like a diaper bag that you carry stuff in, but um, diaper bag, like uh, the stuff that you put the diapers in when they're poopy or whatever, that would be a main must-have, because, yes, that's the light, um, that would be a main must-have, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, number five is how many kids do you plan on having? Well, I have one, which obviously all of you know, which is Droodles, and then I either want one or two more. I definitely want a girl, and I probably want another boy. Because I really like having boys. Um, yeah. But that'll be way in the future. Ow. That'll be way in the future, probably 10 years from now. <coughs> Something like that. I'll be 25, 26, so... I don't know, I might have another one when I graduate high school and after I get out of college, which would be about 22, 23, so, yeah. How many date nights a month do you have? Um, zero. Because I'm single. Um, I've been on one actual date my whole life, which is with Drew's dad, and that was before I was pregnant and everything, and I went to the movies. And then another friend of mine asked me to the movies, while I was still with Jesse, but, um, you know, Jesse okayed it and said it was fine, and then he ended up breaking up with me that night. So, I really wouldn't consider it a date, but, yeah. And then, that night, after the movies with a friend, he, the same guy, actually asked me to go out to eat with him, and I told him I couldn't do it because I still wasn't over Jesse. And then, like, two or three days later, me and Jesse got back together, so, I don't consider that a date. I've been on one date, and that was with Drew Sadie. Um, number seven is your child's favorite show. I was actually going to do this tag with my mom, but she doesn't want to be in one of my videos. Like, she's, she doesn't like to just sit down and answer questions. My mom's, like, a really hard-working person. She likes to be up and doing stuff. She's all the time doing something to keep her distracted and stuff like that, so she wouldn't sit down with me. So maybe, like, I'll videotape, like, our shopping trip or something so you guys can see her because you guys wanted a video with my mom, and that's kind of hard to do because she doesn't like to just sit down, so she wouldn't be in here. Anyway, 
Drew's favorite TV show, he doesn't really have one. Um, we watched that Dynasty, not that Dynasty, that's my favorite TV show. Um, we put in Barnyard, the movie, every single night because we don't have cable right now and um, we're just not really worried about cable. But he watches Barnyard and any movies that we really put in, honestly, he just says me and my mom watches them, so yeah. Number eight is one thing you bought before the baby that you never used. I don't know. Got the kitty? Hey. Yeah, they brought me the kitty. Say hi, Arizona. We see him small baby. He's eating. Okay, now he's going to learn you, Phoenix. <laughs> he almost dropped him. Say hi, Phoenix. Look at you licking your chops. He's like, ah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> I guess this is like a pet tag. Yeah, you guys want to see a pet tag all about my animals? Well, about my babies. These are my fur babies, and they're my favorite. I love cats. That's my favorite animal. I'm obsessed with cats. Um, I have two right now, and yeah. Be easy, honey. Turtle, be easy. Easy. That's not how you pick them up. No, you hold kitties nicely. Mm. Okay. Oh, one. Oh, one. Mm. Um, it's one thing that I bought that I never used, I don't really have anything that I never used. Um, I use everything that I bought, honestly. So, yeah. Um, number nine is your child's favorite food. Drew, what's your favorite food? I'll show you guys. Drew, do you want a hot dog? <laughs> so, yeah, his favorite food is hot dogs. <laughs> oh, baby, we really don't have any more. <laughs> okay, hold on. Do you want a yogurt? Do <laughs> you have a bologna roll-up? I have to make him a bologna roll-up. Do you guys look like Santa's? I don't have these two. <laughs> but they're center off his bambi. We don't have any hot dogs left to be able, so... Here's your, dog. Here's your bologna roll-up. I guess you could have said that. A hot dog? Okay. Favorite food. Hot dogs. <laughs> um, family cars. How many do we have? Uno. Because I don't drive yet. So my mom's car. Um, number 11 is your weight gain during, before, after, and now. So your weight during your pregnancy, how much you weigh before and after, and then right now. Um, before I got pregnant, I was 122 pounds. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. And then I gained 43, I think, because the day I had him, I was 65 pounds. And then a couple of weeks after, yeah, um, either a couple of weeks or the day that I left the hospital. Can I have a kiss? Yes. Can I kiss? Thank you. Nasty mouth. Um, I was 138, and now I am, um, I wasn't, no, yes, no, yes, what is all this? Um, and then now I'm 113. Um, number 12 is your dream vacation with kids. I want to take him to the zoo. That is, like, something that I really want to do because Drew loves animals, don't you? Do you love animals? I love <laughs> Drew does love Mwah. Mwah. You do it. Mwah. Yeah. Can we kiss? Mm -mm. No? Okay. Um, Doodles loves animals, so I just think that the zoo would be so much fun, and I'm hoping that we can go sometime this summer. And then, let me flip the page. Number 13 is your dream vacation without kids, and I want to go to Germany. I don't see me doing that for another... Hopefully that's like my graduation trip. I want to do it when I graduate. And of course Drew will still come with me because he won't be old enough then. But I want to go to Germany and see the concentration camps. I'm really interested in the um, Holocaust and stuff like that. So that's just that's just something that I really want to do. Um, number 14. Has your life changed since your baby? And yes, it has changed so much. Um, before I got pregnant, a lot of you guys asked, you know, how old was I when I started drinking and smoking and stuff like that. Um, 
I was smoking before I got pregnant. I drank. I did, you know, just a lot of illegal stuff. I got in trouble with the cops and stuff like that. After, as soon as I found out that I was pregnant, everything completely stopped. I quit drinking completely. I quit smoking completely. Just, I don't do anything um, like that anymore. The cops, I don't get in trouble with the cops, you know. Straight A student and everything. So, yeah. Well, straight A B student. I don't get all A's, but. Um, number 15, it says finish the sentence, it melts my heart to see anything that Drew does. Yeah, because, um, when you have a baby, it's like anything they do, anything they say, the new experiences and everything is just completely, it's so exciting, and when he said his first, his first sentence, I actually got so excited that I screamed and was like, oh my god, and it scared him and he started crying. Yeah. So I feel kind of bad about that. Okay. Number 16 is where do you shop for your kids? Kid. Because I don't have one. A lot of you guys have been asking if I'm pregnant or anything. No. I don't even have a boyfriend. Mom, get the house on! Sorry. Um, where do I shop? I honestly shop anywhere. Dollar General, Walmart. I don't do like Amazon or anything like that. I don't really go very expensive, but his clothes are still really, really cute. And then number 17 is your favorite makeup and skincare. My favorite makeup is any makeup that I have because I love my makeup. Um, right now, I really like the Hard Candy palette that I showed you guys in my makeup collection and what I got for Christmas and all that stuff. I really like that. And then my, Victor my Victoria's Secret Shadow Trio. I really like that stuff. Um, and then, of course, my... <laughs> Let me get it out of my pocket. My baby lips. So, that's my favorite makeup right now. I love this. It is so pretty. It's not even as dark as it seems, honestly. Like... So, yeah. <laughs> It's like my favorite. It's so moisturizing. It's so soft on your lips. And it puts a little bit of tint, but not too much. And yeah. Um, number 18 is Huggies Diaper Jeans. I've never bought those. So I can't say yes or no because I don't buy those. I buy loves. Because they're cheaper and they hold tea just as well. You guys bought me. We have not used this thing in forever. We actually just got it out of the garage. And so yeah. Love it. We just sit in it and all that good stuff right now. He's laying in it. But, um, my favorite skincare is lotion. Um, just, uh, I really like his lotion. It's a Vino baby calming lotion in lavender and vanilla scented. I love it. I use it every time I start a shower on my feet and stuff. Number 19 is Have You Always Wanted Kids? Yes. I've always wanted kids. Uh, he was not planned, but he was an accident nor a mistake. I've always wanted kids. Um, yeah, so, yeah, um, and 20, the best part of being a mom, you know, turtles now, Drew, 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 no, no, do you want a cup? Okay, hold on. Do you want a cup? The best part of being a mom is honestly everything, um, just the experiences of, you know, just watching him go through everything and um, teaching him and seeing his new things that he does. Everything is just so special and exciting to me. I love, you know, everything is just so amazing about being a mom, honestly. And I really hope you guys can hear me. I had to get some juice. Okay. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. That's 20 questions of the um, mommy tag. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that gives you guys a little bit of, you know, just kind of how I was before my pregnancy, how I am now, and, you know, how much my life has really changed, and how I raised my kid. So, um try to turn you over to journal. I don't know where he is. Say bye.
Bye bye. He's waving. Up here. Say bye bye. He waved, but it was like underneath the table. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.